our habitual movement of mind is actually to add forward motion to fix what we feel is a problem. So we feel incomplete. We feel um, not whole. And if we fix it through our mind, then we go to forward motion. Like, well, what practice should I do? How? What things should I join? What things should I add? What relationship should I get in? What money should I get? All of this like forward motion seeking. And it's really about like stopping the seeking more so. Because even spiritual practices or seeking enlightenment is seeking. Um, it's believing in some way that I'm someone separate that doesn't have it already. That is apart from all of life. And there, I mean, there's so many little nuanced mechanisms within this, but hopefully it sort of gives some, some broad spectrum of, of what I'm explaining. Um, so it's really more to stop. And then as you, when you really stop, you are just right here, which right here, there's not any space for something separate. There's not any space at all. <laughs> there's no objective world and subject in it, subjects in it. And so when we stop, I think we often get like a, a fear response or a emotional reaction, like, like you'll cry or laugh or get really uh, terrified because it's, um, it's like when you really stop in that way, and it doesn't even mean physical stopping necessarily. It's just like that mechanism stops even just for a second. You get a taste of what's really here. And what's really here is radiant emptiness, which is actually nothing at all, but not nothing. <laughs> Impossible to talk about because anything we talk about, it is putting a concept on top of it, which it can't be reflected. And all concept is reflection. <laughs>